Christmas Day. Wow, how this month has gone. So, I have got a little bit of catching up to do. I'm still back at the 22nd. We have been rather busy. Um, but, as I said, it's Christmas. Let's quickly do a recap. So, day one was Baker's seven-year-old. Day two was Knob Creek Rye. It was actually quite good. Singleton was number three. That was, I think that was the first decent single malt. Day four, McAllen. This was the first one that we did say we wanted to buy. I see the tick. Day five, Evan Williams. Also a very good one. That was uh, also a definite buy. Day six, Glenn Moray. It's also a very good one. Day seven, Highland Park. Was okay. Uh, it also had a buy on it. Day eight, I can't see. It was a very good one. Suntory, old. That was a good one. Day nine was Cavallan Dil Distillery. That was a good one. We said we'd buy it again. Day ten was eight out of ten. Glendaraj, 12 malt, single malt, oh, good one. Then, I think this was probably one of the best ones that we've had, was the Akashi. And the reason why I say so is because it sticks out in memory, it was a very good one. Kleinlish, Kleinlish was also a very good one, um, not that I would buy it again. Um, Connemara was a decent one, I wasn't too impressed by it. And that was on day 13. That one got a 5 out of 10. Uh, let's just see here. Saliska Storm was also okay. It was a 5. None of these were bad. Amarut was an Indian one, which was, I gave it a 7 out of 10, which I think is a good conversation starter. So yes, I would definitely get that one again. Day 16 was a definite buy. It was an 8 out of 10. Valvindi, uh, 12 wooden malt, uh, double wood, I mean. And then Balmore 10, dark and intense. This was a really good one. This was 7 out of 10. I said I would think about that one. Day 18 was Laporeg, quarter cost. It was a 7 out of 10. Also, think about getting that again. Shout out to Whiskey Vince, he's our supplier. Definitely we need to support him here in China. Then we get on to the good stuff. Day 19. This was absolutely a 8 out of 10. Jura, definitely need that again. Then McKellen 12, one of my favorites also. This got an 8 out of 5. This was super smooth. Uh, yeah. Sorry, 8 out of 10, not an 8 out of 5. And then we had the Glen Morangy Day 21, which was also 8 out of 5. Also super smooth, very good. And then we move on to, um, I almost said today, we have got some really good ones. And our good ones are as follows. Let's see, Day 22, Glen Fittich. Which is a single malt, and let's move straight on to that. Game footage. Let's see how that smells. Mm, I've had this one before. It is really good. It is really good. I'm going to have these and enjoy my Christmas. Um, and I will put some ice in there and I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, guys, let's sit a little bit. Mm. Super smooth, as usual, what we expect, but I'm only going to give it a 7 out of 10. I would definitely buy it again. I love this stuff. It is really nice. And then, moving along swiftly, I'm actually going to enjoy this one a little bit later. We have got 
Day 23, which is Glen Eaglen, 12. It's also a single malt. Okay, let's see here. Mm, it smells very fruity. Mm, very woody as well. Taste. Mm. Something tells me I'm really going to enjoy these last, these last few. So, I am going to give this one a score without even putting ice in and letting it settle. I am going to give this a strong eight out of ten. It is really nice. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enjoy these two and I will come back to you for the last two. Guys, join you about an hour and a bit later and uh, we move on to the next one, which we're probably going to take a bit of a, a bit of time with. Um, I've had this one before. It is one of, let's just say, it's really a good one. Glenroth's 12 Vintage Reserve. Now, I haven't smelt the bottle yet. Oh. Burst of flavor. It is so amazing. I have had this before. I am going to enjoy this greatly. And yeah. It's got floral undertones. It's very fruity. It's woody. It's a burst of flavor. Wow. Just as it is there, it is so smooth. If I had to describe it in mm -hmm. one perfect sentence, it would be sultry smooth. It is that gorgeous supermodel that you've been perving over. This is her in whiskey form. It is really good. So I'm going to enjoy this and I will see you a little bit later. Okay guys, this was the last sip of the Glenroth. Oh. When you finish the ice, you know it's good. So, that took me a while to enjoy. And I'm actually a little bit upset that I was, and then I'm going to change the taste. But it is what it is. And today, we're giving it a score, 9 out of 10. I think this is the highest score that we've given it. And it's a pure score. So let's move on to today. Merry Christmas, all. Wow, I think I need a palate cleanser. But... Vince, you shared no expense, or you spared no expense. Christmas. Glen Morangie. Now I've had from the same house, but I have not had the 12. I have not had the 12 single malt. Mmm, that smells so good. Oh yeah, so it's definitely a, it's definitely a very, very rich, 
very flavorful uh, drink that you are going to enjoy. So, it is not strong, it's not overpowering. I am going to actually go ahead and enjoy this one. But, yeah, let me put some ice in here and I will be with you in a few. Thanks, guys. Mm. And that's that. Guys, Glenmorangi, Lasanza, 12. Very good. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Very smooth. I enjoyed it. I will buy it again. So, not to review, but there are a few that say not. The Sansa, um, let's see, back to the 24th, definitely the Glenroths, uh, the 23rd, Glen Eagles, very good one. Um, then the Akashi, we're looking at a few very good whiskies here. So please hit up Vince, I have showed you the uh, QR code. Um, and enjoy guys Merry Christmas and have a wonderful new year I'm about to finish off my nightcap I was also asked quite a few times like what else do I enjoy I enjoy a good Glenlivet all right I enjoy Glen Grant is decent every now and then I do enjoy Johnny Black's double black and up Okay, uh, dimple. Uh, I enjoy a dimple every now and then, but I'm currently enjoying some grants, and I'm going to finish off my Christmas with a fresh glass. And have some grants. Guys, from my family to you, we wish you a Merry Christmas and we wish you a happy, happy, prosperous 2020. And we just pray that everything goes well for you. That all your hopes and aspirations and your dreams come true. And as we work hard for our dreams, we hope that you like, share, and subscribe and see what we are really up to. We will drop a few uh, links in the description. Our website will be up and live very soon. And there's amazing things coming for 2020. So guys, stay blessed, have fun, always keep moving forward, and we will see you soon.